from cement beds to the maternity room. Bull sheep are used for many things in the Congo. These strips of materials can be used as tourniquets or bandages for wounds. It has been one woman's vision to make as many bandages as possible to help hospitals in the Congo. Minister Sarah Hicks of McDonough, Georgia, states that her passion has been foreign mission ministry for over 30 years. Until recently, her vision has been a dream. With the help of the Shiloh Baptist Church and missionaries around the world, her vision is coming to fruition. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Hicks has truly been a blessing to the Shiloh Church family. She is the first African American foreign missionary that I have had the privilege of knowing and working with in home and foreign mission ministries. Minister Sarah Hicks popped into our lives a few years ago here at the uh, Shiloh Baptist Church and the first time I met with her she let me know right off the bat that global missions or foreign missions as we, we call it uh, was something that was very dear to her and uh, deep uh, planted into her heart. Called hand work. Everything is done by hand. Therefore, I think of it as um, hands of a global servant using our hands to reshape material from used bed sheets. That's what we're going to be doing in Shiloh. We're going to produce bandages, which will be used in four hospitals in Congo. There's a process of uh, getting down to actually rolling the bandage. First, we take a used sheet. I take the seams off that's sewn around, and then I measure three inches to rule and mark it off, and then I just tear it, tear the strips, and it depends on the size, if it's a queen size or king size, how many strips you get. Uh, but then I take those strips, and I guess I'm selfish because I could ask other women to do it, but I'll tell you why I, I'm doing it is because I'm sewing those strips together on my sewing machine that my mom bought for me in 1952. March 12th will be our handwork day for the Shiloh family, and I have labeled it clip snip and roll. As you're rolling the bandages, you may need to clip off those strings that are there. If you're cutting the squares, you will use the scissors to clip that, and then rolling the bandages. And really excited about it because the Boy Scout, Girl Scout, and of course, Mission and uh, my Shiloh family. All well, your ladies of McDonough will yes. also be joining us on that day.
the chair of the Shiloh Board of Deaconess, Dr. Gloria Jones, supported Minister Sarah Hicks' foreign mission by emailing the entire Deaconess Board to contribute old sheets for bandages. The Royal Ladies of McDonough, a chapter of the National Red Hatter Society, participated in the clip, snip, and roll of bandages. Shiloh Baptist Church's Boy Scouts Troop Number 712 helped to roll the material for bandages under the directions of Scout Master Willie Turner. In addition to the auxiliaries you have already seen, there were also individuals from the Shiloh Church family and the McDonough community helping to roll material for bandages. Ozzie Bell is explaining the usage of four by four squares of material from old sheets to clean and wipe thermometers and alcohol to clean affected skin area. The four by four squares of material come in packs of 50. They can also be used as a cover for baby blocking. Here you see Willie Sims showing how he used a simple cutout pattern to design baby gowns and blankets from flannel material. I was hungry and you gave me meat. I was thirsty and you gave me drink. I was a stranger and you took me in. The Shiloh's Food Pantry Ministry is headed by Kim McGee. This ministry includes Edwina Williams, Ruby Calhoun, and others who now average feeding around 120 families per month. Arlene Mallard, who chairs Shiloh Home Mission, supports an organization called the Friends House that prepares meals every third Saturday for 18 to 20 children and also donates items such as school supplies and other items that help make a difference in their lives. I was naked and you clothed me. The Shiloh Boutique, headed by Virginia Turner, takes in donated clothing, which is skillfully displayed to attract recipients who contribute voluntary amounts to this ministry on an ongoing basis. I was sick and you visited me. Miss Willie Varner, a faithful Shiloh Home Missionary Worker, who have accepted as her ministry to visit, administer, and cheer up the sick and shut in in hospitals and convalescent homes throughout the McDonough area. I was in prison and you came unto me. Reverend Dr. James Alexander has the Shiloh Church Prison Ministry, in addition to ministering to prison inmates. This ministry also administers an alcohol and drug program called Regeneration, which offers alcohol and drug treatment and clinical evaluation programs for the Henry County Probation Department.
Girl Scout Troop number 20. Did you all enjoy that wonderful talk coming from Reverend Sarah Hicks? Yes! Good. Well, now tell me, where is she going? Congo! Oh, and what continent is the Congo in? Africa! Very good. Very good. Thank you all so much. You are so attentive, and we really appreciate that. But I would say that uh, Minister Hicks gave us an opportunity to touch and to feel and, and to know how it really feels to be involved in, in global missions in a very close-up kind of kind of setting. So she, uh, she continues to be on fire, continues to show that passion. And uh, as a church, we're going to continue to do all we can uh, to make sure that along with her, we impact as many lives as we can, not only on this shore, but even across the many oceans for which we work.